Hello friends, so welcome back to our channel. So in our previous session, we are discussing about various built-in functions available in R programming. So in that we have completed the mathematical functions as well as the string related functions. So now we, in this session, we'll see the statistical functions that are available in R programming. So I mean built-in functions. So statistical functions. So the first function, is a mean so it will take one parameter which is a vector right so which takes a vector so that uh, in that particular vector we can have the mean of that particular vector right so it is used to find the mean of given vector right so let us uh, see the implementation path in the R Studio. So let me open that and uh, let me clear all the previous data which is available and then we'll implement this mean function. So see I'm erasing all the previous data and now we'll see yes. So you can observe here let us consider one vector some uh, yes some a is equal to c of let us take some 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now, let us check print of mean function of A. So that means it will calculate the mean and we can get the value. So the mean of A is 30. Mean of A is 30. Right? So you can observe, the, what is the mean? It's an average. So 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 50, which is nothing but yeah, 90, 100, 150 divided by total number of elements, so 5, so which gives the 30. So we'll directly, this mean function will return the mean value of a given vector. Similarly, we can also find the median, the second statistical function, it's a median. Median of, we can go with the vector. So it is used to find median of given vector given vector right so instead of mean we can also go with the median so obviously if you execute you will get the median of a so because this is a median median value which is a middle value so 30 and if you go with the or even number of values we will get the average so that will be the 35 so 30 plus 40 divided by 2 right so if it is odd the middle value will be returned and if it is an even then the middle two values will be getting average and it will be returned as a median that we know that similarly the third function is a standard deviation standard deviation which sta the function used here is sd sd followed by the vector and it is used to find standard deviation of a given vector so for the given vector it will find the standard deviation so instead of median you can go with the sd and execute so this will be the standard deviation standard deviation right so we know that all these are the different uh, built-in functions of statistical related formula right next range function so what happens it, it it specifies the given range of values see for a range of x or some vector so it returns the range of values so you can give a vector or any uh, any any, any uh, sequence type right so range of 10 let us check what happens here see range of 10 we will get only 10 and 10 and for example if you go with a 0 to 10 what happens so 0 and 10 the range is 0 and 10 right and let us take some comma and 40 let us have a look 0 to 40 the range is from 0 to 40 okay 0 to 40 so if it is a normal value so that will be only one value so that is 10 okay so it will give the given range a 10 so you can uh, see here right 10 10 
are 0 to 10. So, two values, the lower boundary is 0 and upper boundary is 10. Okay. If you give here the sequence, then you will get the sequence. Let us check. You will get the sequence, the complete sequence. Right. So, range function will give the range of given value or a given vector. And similarly, if you consider some uh, vector, so the another function is a sum function. Another function is sum function, which will return the total value of a vector. So why I am calling it as a vector means here uh, in the vector will be having a multiple values, right? So it will return the sum of all elements or values of vector. So whatever the elements or whatever the values which are available in that vector, the, the sum will be returned. For example, you can see, so sum of A. So what happened here? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So what is the sum here? So 30, 30, 60, 100 and 210. So you'll get the value as a 210. So directly we are having a built-in function called sum to find the sum of all the elements. And similarly, minimum. So one more function that is a minimum. So which will return the minimum value in the given vector. So it will return the minimum value from the given vector. So here we are giving some sequences, right? Not only the vector, we can also give the sequences. So min function which will return a minimum value from the given vector. So obviously if you are seeing the minimum minimum function, there will be one more function called a maximum function. So it will return the maximum value of from the given vector, right? So maximum function, it will return the maximum value from the given vector given vector right so previously we have got the minimum value now we are getting the maximum value so 60 is the maximum value among this vector a that means 10 20 30 40 50 60 right now there's a one more function called difference difference so diff and here we can give some vector and it will return differences right so let us check how it happens so we'll see d a f f a so we'll get the difference among all the elements see 10 20 the difference is 10 20 30 the difference is 10 30 40 the difference is 10 50 60 the difference is 10 right for example if you go with 60 and 80 what happens the last one will get a 20 as a difference 20 as a difference so it will give the difference among each and every element difference between each and every element of a vector right so that is a difference function right so these are the few statistical functions which are available in our uh, R programming, right? So hope you understood this one. So if you are having any different uh, difficulties among implementation of any one of these statistical functions, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to sub subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.